This is your three-minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, May 9, 2012. In Canada, CRWS jet stream analysis shows the Canadian provinces are mostly covered. As scattered rainfall is occurring over a widespread area, the following cities have high potential for fallout in the next 24 to 48 hours. Kamloops, Kelowna, Calgary, Lethbridge, Saskatoon, Sudbury, Windsor, Toronto, London, Ottawa, Niagara Falls, Montreal, Quebec, Halifax, and Kingston. In the U.S., current radar shows the U.S. is unusually clear, with 75% of the country currently sunny. However, high Geiger readings have been reported along the East Coast storm system, with 20 times background in North Carolina. This system extends from Florida to Michigan and is slowly moving east. Please avoid all precipitation along this area. In Europe, Current radar from Meteo France shows rain across the northern half of Europe with the strongest storms for the next 24 hours being in France, Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Austria, the Czech Republic, northern Italy, and Croatia. The coastal areas have the highest potential for fallout as the jet stream and tropospheric bands coincide with this area. Please monitor your depth for current radiation levels and avoid precipitation as a precaution. Nuke Report Another worker at the Honeywell International Uranium Processing Facility received an injury and facial laceration while removing his respirator. At the on-site medical facility, it was found that the employee had a high level of contamination on his work shoes. The plant notified the NRC. This is the second contaminated worker in three days at this plant. At the Peach Bottom, Pennsylvania plant, there was an invalid primary containment issue resulting from a voltage problem. And at the Monticello, Minnesota nuke plant, there were several conditions found that could delay transfer to emergency diesel generators. This was reported under accident mitigation. We also need to include a sun report today, as large sunspot 1476 is releasing M and C flares and has a slight potential for X flares. The good news is, with clear skies over most of the U.S., we may get to experience northern lights over the next two days, especially in the states along the Canadian border. Please share these forecasts from YouTube on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media so we can inform people about the dangers of radiation. This message has been brought to you by Radchik in the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.